everyone, this is Dan Morgan. I am the Service Delivery Manager here at Beyond 20. And today we're going to take a look at the Common Tasks pane in the Client Tool. When I first log in to ShareWell, I am presented with my default dashboard and other information based on the role that I've logged in with. And over on the left here in my Task pane, I have a Common Tasks area. And that area can hold uh, one steps, um, it can hold links to calendars, it can hold um, items from the Actions Catalog, a lot of different things you can put in there. But by default, that Common Tasks area is the same for everybody unless we override it for a particular role. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to my Admin tool. And if I go into Settings, Edit Default Task Pane and Menu Search, this is where I can modify what appears in that default task pane. So out of the box, the default, the IT service desks, the service desk manager, the portal end user, they all have the same task pane. So if I highlight default and click on edit here, you'll see this is where I can make changes to that. So I can say, you know what, I don't really want to see customer info or process and terminology or queues, but I want to add a few things to that common tasks area. So if I highlight that, click on configure, here's where I can either remove items or I can add them. So if I click on add here, maybe I want to show the change calendar in my common tasks. And I can move items up and down here as well. So if I want the change calendar, say, to be number two in the list, I can just use that blue arrow, move him up or down. I can add again. I could add a one step here. Maybe I want to have the uh, new incident one step be there. I can move him up a couple as well. Click OK, OK, OK. And now this is one of those things that if you want to see the change in the client tool, you're actually going to have to log out and log back in again. You can't just go do the help reload definitions like you can if you publish a blueprint. So I'm not going to see that yet. But if I now log out of ShareWell and totally exit the application and then come back in again, I'm going to log in as good old Henry here, connecting to my demo database. Now when the client tool opens up and refreshes my information, I should see those new items in the Common Tasks pane. So I'm going to pick my role. Now I didn't override this for a role yet. I'll jump back and show you how to do that in a second. This is just the default. So now you see I've got those two new items in here for the change calendar that was added and the new incident one step that was added. Now if I want to override this for a role, I go back into the admin tool and this time I'm going to go into security, edit my roles, and then for the particular role I want to change it for, let's say I want to change the common tasks for IT Service Desk Manager, I can highlight that role, go up to Role Options, and configure the task pane. So here's where I could override that. Instead of using the default that everybody gets, I just uncheck this, and now I can make changes to this. So maybe I don't want that particular role to have the change calendar, or the new incident, or the create problem. So now I've overridden that for that particular role. So if I log in as Henry and pick IT Service Desk Manager, I'm going to have a totally different task pane than I will if I had one of the other roles. So that's how we make a modification to the Common Tasks pane in ShareWell.